Hello everyone, this is Pal Pondra on Weather coming at you with another update. In this update, we're going to be talking about major snowstorms with ice and some heavy snow and some severe weather for the southeast and some heavy rain for the west coast. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family on social media. All right, so let's get started. <clears throat> Here's the overall uh, snow reports for the last 48 hours of this snow snowfall that we've been kind of talking about over the last uh, several days. This is Tuesday morning, uh, the 26th, so it just kind of gives you an idea. And it has lived up to its name. I mean, these are the 12 to 18 inch snow reports anywhere from southeast Nebraska getting into Iowa. I know Lincoln, Nebraska had like 14 inches. It's still snowing in West Des Moines. They're like 13 and a half inches right now. We even had, uh, there was no official snowfall in uh, Phoenix at uh, Sky Harbor, but it got close. So that was great to see some snow out there. Uh, but man, look at all these healthy snow reports just traversing up the, the midsection of the country. And that's just going to extend as we get into the day uh, later on today as this moves uh, east. So now, unfortunately, we also had some storm reports down to the south with that severe weather aspect that we kind of mentioned as well. We had some hail and high winds near the Dallas-Fort Worth area, but we had that big tornado last night, unfortunately, near Birmingham and Fultondale, and it could have been an easily an EF3. That was, that was a very dangerous cell that moved across around midnight last night. And, the, of course, the National Weather Service will go out and do you know surveys over the next several days but man the, looking at the pictures that just not look good and it had debris balls on radar and that's not always a good scenario as well and so yeah we had that storm uh, uh, you know high and hell hail, hail and high wind reports going into memphis as well as uh, knoxville tennessee but now we have to kind of look at down south and in the, into the southeast as that same system still moving across to the east and this area right here will be under the gun later on today for uh, severe weather and possible isolated tornadoes as well. So now let's take a look at the overall watches and warnings right now. Man, look at all that color on the map. I mean, here's your original snowstorm we've been talking about, winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings, all the way through uh, the central Midwest to uh, the Northeast. And we've got just numerous winter weather advisories, winter, you know, winter storm warnings, all the way out here west in the Four, four Corners regions. But let, let's kind of take you through the next several days, actually the, the next week, because so, we have actually multiple snowstorms to talk about in a very active pattern coming up. So here's the original one we've been kind of talking about. This will, this will continue moving off to the east today. This is by later on today, this afternoon on Tuesday, bringing some ice uh, for parts of uh, you know West Virginia, getting into parts of Pennsylvania. They got like a glazing right now in Pittsburgh, but just out to uh, the east, man, it's going to be some some very uh, heavy ice out there for you guys. Unfortunately, this will continue on dumping some more snow uh, for the Northeast, getting back into Michigan as well as we got more snow uh, for the Four Corners region. Now, unfortunately, here's the, the latest HRR, triple R model of the composite reflectivity. Here's that severe weather we got to look out for uh, later on this, uh, this afternoon into the evening for the uh, Florida Panhandle, getting into parts of southeastern uh, uh, Georgia, getting into the Carolinas. So this area, you got to be under the gun for potential uh, damaging winds, uh, large hail, and isolated tornadoes with this system that's already had a history of producing severe weather as it moves across. But after today, it kind of dies down for severe weather. But we then we have that storm just kind of swinging across by uh, overnight uh, Tuesday night, getting into Wednesday morning, dumping some more snow uh, for for the northeast. And as we then we kind of take a look at uh, our our eyes on this next event that's going to be taking shape over the midsection of the country that will continue moving across. And yet another storm system starting to dive down from the west, and that's going to set the stage for another later event uh, as we get into this weekend. So, yeah, there's multiple storm systems. So as this continues moving across by Wednesday, that'll bring some snow a little bit further south, going into uh, uh, K eastern Kentucky now this time. A uh, little bit of a little bit of snow in southern Indiana, a little bit of snow in southern Ohio. 
and portions of uh, South, you know, West Virginia. And as this gets into, uh, you know, Eastern uh, Tennessee, uh, parts of you know, extreme parts of a of Virginia. And as this will continue uh, moving across, this is just a quick hitter, you know, like a, a you know, 18, 24 hour event. And it's not terribly too heavy snow, but there are going to some sun spots could pick up you know, three to five inches uh, out of this little system that's, you know, traversing across. But it's going to bring the snow a little bit further south in portions of uh, Virginia as well as this continues uh, moving off the coast. And so as we kind of ex expand the view and we continue into Friday, look at this. Look at the buckle. I mean, here's some Arctic air is going to start filtering in. Here's your 540 line as the freezing line starts to swing a little bit further south. So there's definitely going to be some Here's an Arctic high pressure up to the north. There's definitely going to be some colder air starting to mix in by the time Friday rolls around. And these low temperatures uh, by then are, are definitely pretty chilly. We're talking, you know, below zero in parts of, uh, you know, Vermont and New Hampshire, getting into portions of New York. And then, yeah, widespread teens and 20s for a good chunk of this north central U.S., getting into the Midwest and and it even even parts of the southeast i mean you're going to be swinging all the way down in the 20s so this is some definitely a colder air that's going to be on the way by the time friday and saturday rolls around and it even gets colder uh for saturday because as this system moves across this is the view by saturday morning uh, we'll have more snow starting to take shape over uh the four corners regions and yet we'll have another system that we're looking at back behind it dumping some more heavy rain into off the west coast of washington oregon getting into california that snow will start to continue spreading uh, east getting into uh, interior regions of idaho getting into montana uh, by then and this will continue uh, moving across and yeah we've got colder air to work with and as this continues uh, moving across it'll start to bring uh, some more snow and and heavy snow. I mean, these are these are spots that just picked up in Des Moines, Iowa. I mean, you just you just picked up you know a foot of snow, and you're going to be getting more snow as we get into uh, Saturday, as you know, especially as we get into Sunday. And this is going to be setting the stage for our heavy snow event. It's over uh, you know the Midwest again, and that'll get into parts of Illinois. And that will continue moving into parts of uh, Indiana as well as we continue moving into possibly Saturday, getting into Sunday morning by then. That low will start to deepen, but it'll start to get blocked too. Here's you got your Arctic high pressure, you got your high latitude blocking up here, and that will kind of trap it. And as this traps it, it'll kind of keep it for, keep it south. It won't keep it going further north. And this low will eventually make its way off the coast, and that will set the stage for our possibly bigger snowstorm around the first or the second we'll we'll walk you through that because that low gets trapped and then you start bringing some snow into places that haven't seen much snow places like southern illinois southern indiana especially like southern ohio i do feel you'll be picking up some snow from this particular event as you'll have more uh, you know colder air uh, to work with on the back side as this kind of swings through but yeah, by the time Sunday night rolls around, this will continue uh, moving off the east. And then once it gets off the coast, then it'll really start to kind of deepen. It'll be blocked by that high up to the north. And then you get that wraparound. And that's when you'll have some more snow, just uh, uh, heavier snow and uh, more widespread snow uh, by then over uh, Indiana, going into Ohio, parts of you know West Virginia, getting into uh, the, the northeast as well as the system will continue trying to kind of get blocked and try to deepen off the coast of, of the northeast and we'll start spreading snow into possibly dc getting into delaware maryland you know parts of uh, massachusetts uh, jersey and this will this will try to uh, you know kind of kind of deepen of course this would be by next tuesday by then but it'll just kind of give you an idea because here's the 540 line we got a lot of cold air in the beginning so you have a lot of cold air in the upper levels already to work with so you've got the upper level uh you know pattern you know already cold enough for it to snow and so we don't really have that southwest uh, surge like we did with this last event so you'll have uh, definitely more colder air uh to work with as this system uh you know moves across but 
yeah, here's uh, here's your overall snowfall totals as of right now for the latest uh, European model. I mean, gosh, over the next week, I mean, you're talking just feet of snow. I mean, pack your ski bags, man. It, you know, I mean, some of these places, Mammoth Mountain is like 10 feet. It's just crazy amounts out in uh, California. But yes, I'm definitely heavier snows out west as we have some colder air to work with especially like the Four Corners regions. But here's your bullseye again. Places just got a foot of snow. It's going to be probably under the gun again in Iowa, getting into uh, Illinois. By the time next Friday and Saturday rolls around, or Saturday and Sunday rolls around, with this next system, could easily probably pick up another foot uh, from this system. This will continue moving off the east. Uh, a little bit lighter amounts, but uh, still some pretty impressive snowfall totals uh, coming out over the next uh, seven days. And here's your liquid precipitation. And you can, can see, I mean, just the West Coast gets inundated with a lot of heavy rain. And so I'm really concerned about landslides by then in California. And even Southern California will get into the action. Places like Los Angeles, I'm expecting rain for you guys. I mean, the desert Southwest, so you just have not seen much rain in a lot of a lot of these areas in a, in a while but you will get in a get it in a big way over the next uh, seven days and as that low continues uh you know you see it's pretty dry over places like colorado you're going to be missed out from the snow and the rain uh, over the next uh, seven days predominantly uh pretty much and you know wyoming as well so the, you know the midsection of the country but it'll start picking back up again with uh, lighter amounts and some heavier amounts uh, down to the southeast, getting to the Carolinas, where we're going to have to be dealing with that severe weather aspect uh, later on today. And then heavier rains as you pull further north. Well, for the first part of the week, you'll still have some warmer air uh, to uh, tap into because that's why you're picking up some heavier snows. But yeah, here's the latest uh, Canadian model. I mean, it kind of shows uh, basically kind of the same thing. I mean, here's your bullseye over the next uh, seven days with that heavy snow event over this part of the country and then a little bit lighter amounts as you get into the Northeast. But still, some impressive totals are going to be uh, in, in parts of uh, you know the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic over the next seven days. And then back out to the West, you do some have some heavier snows. And yeah, the Canadian model still has the the kind of the hole in the middle where you're not going to be getting much uh, over the next uh, seven days. But then back behind it, that's this. And we have yet a possibly another system that's going to be diving a little bit further south. So I've been getting a lot of comments. Are we be, are we going to be done with winter uh, for the south? And <laughs> the answer is in the short term right now. Yes, it's warm, but we do have a developing another low pressure by the time the 10th, you know, by the, you know, the next 10 days, we're talking possibly as we get into late next, uh, you know, next weekend, as we go into next weekend, we could be seeing a, more snow uh, for Texas starting to enter the picture as well as Oklahoma. So, and typically, uh, you know, this, you know, February is your, your snowiest month of the year, typically at, for the, for the South. So we do have another system that winter could be coming back uh, for the South by the time, you know, 10 days rolls around, but that's just something I, I've got my eye on it, kind of the extended range for the first week in February for you guys a little bit further South. So, Hey, I, I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Do like this video, definitely leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where I protect you before and after the storm.